Well, the colder weather may cause you to throw another blanket on the bed, but the kind of blanket and even your sheets can affect whether or not you're going to get a better night's sleep out of it. Yeah, it makes sense to me, but here to help us make the right choices is Danielle Schindler from Scandia Home in Birmingham. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So we're told that we need to keep our bedroom cool for a better night's sleep, but we don't want to freeze either. So what do you recommend? Sure. Well, above all else, natural materials are the best for sleeping. Um, anything synthetic is going to trap body heat instead of regulate your body heat. Okay, so when, when we think synthetic, is that even kind of like those jersey sheets? Are those considered synthetic? Not necessarily, but often they are. Okay. Um, I would say the stereotypical synthetic bedding would be like the hotel blanket that you ah, get. Ah, okay. Oh. Got it. We're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, there is something to that. I remember um, my sophomore year of college, my roommate Jim um, uh, torch, uh, tormented me because he had what he called his stack of blankets. And he insisted on having the window open in the middle of January. I'm over here with my Meyer comforter. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> freezing my keister off. And he's all comfy under a stack of blankets. So is that the idea here is that you, you know, keep it cold and then line it up with stuff like this? I would say Quality over quantity. Okay. Um, definitely start with a nice blanket, but you don't need 10. You All right, 10. you don't need a stack. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what you've brought in. Sure. So let's start from that direction, because that looks very familiar to me. Sure, this is your basic knit cotton blanket. So mm. your grandma probably had this on the bed. You might have it on the bed now. Um, it lasts forever, it wears nicely. Um, they can Usually be, has that pattern, that texture. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'll have a nice pattern to them. And they're generally, you know, fairly reasonably priced. It's a great basic blanket. So is it back to the same thing that cotton is breathable? Absolutely, okay. yes. Cotton is breathable and it's it's not going to behave in any way that you don't expect. All right. Which is what you what about wool? So wool, this one's our wool one. Actually, I want to have one, sure. take a look at one other cotton option. So this is a oh, brushed is cotton. cotton it is, okay. yes. Brush. So it's cozier, it's mm. still breathable. It's actually the same thing that they do to flannel sheets hmm. in a blanket form. Interesting. What is it they do to a flannel sheet? So after it's woven, they actually brush the fibers to get the, that to get kind of that texture. Yes. Interesting. Right. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah, so now onto the wool. Huh? So this would be like your least warm, a little bit warmer, and now to the wool. All right. So this is a merino wool, which you can tell by feeling it. It's still very soft. Mm -hmm. It's not scratchy at all, and it's going to insulate your body very well. Wool is the most insulating natural fiber that we've looked at so far. It's moisture wicking and it's lightweight. So. Yeah, and that's why I love merino wool sweaters in the winter time yes. because you're cozy but you don't feel like you're being suffocated. So what about sheets? Sure, so sheets, um, again, natural materials. Cotton flannel is gonna be warm, which we should all know that. Mm -hmm. uh, other weaves of cotton can give you different qualities as well. But in the winter, I would say something that's not cool to the touch is what most people are gonna be looking for. Yes. Yes. All, right, All right, let's get to the blanket that everybody in the station is losing their minds over because it <laughs> literally you've never felt in your life something so soft as this never. blanket. Right. Never. What so is this? This is a faux fur. Oh, okay. It is amazing. I wish you could all could feel it. This is this is insane. I didn't even think it was faux. I mean, I was like, I'm a well, yeah. and that's the beauty of it. Um, it is faux. It is naturally sustainable. It's made in Europe. You don't have to worry about it. I wouldn't put this over your whole bed because it is extremely warm. But okay. it's definitely what you want to look for for decorative elements and getting cozy on the couch, that type of thing. What is? Yeah. How does it hold up for uh, like maintenance or cleaning or that sort of thing? So we have faux furs that are machine washable. Yeah. Uh, this one happens to be dry clean only but okay. um, you definitely can make them very user friendly. Okay. okay, good stuff. And finally, finally down, is your yes, your big down. fluffy down comforter. Right. So there's a reason it's in our winter jackets. Mm -hmm. It's very warm. It's lightweight, it's breathable, it's lovely to sleep under. Um, I would say this is definitely a staple for any bed that you would want to have a nice night of rest in. All right, well, great information. And there are different fillings there, right? Like yes. Some uh, polyester, other fillings are like goose down or, or feathers or... Exactly. So this, these happen to be white goose down. You okay. can get a polyfill, but it's going to take back some of the qualities that you get with a natural down. And then they also come in different warmth levels. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. So everybody uh, can head to Scandia and figure out for themselves Absolutely. with the expert staff <laughs> what they need. Absolutely. Where? Uh, we are located on Pier Street in downtown Birmingham. 
and we welcome any questions. We love to, we're totally dork out over betting. So. That's awesome. <laughs> Dorking out is good. And then that way you won't have to be like me and kicking your, your sheets and your blankets off the yes. bed already.